Hey everyone, Dragon7 here. It's been a long time since I posted anything. Um, <clears throat> right now, here's an experimental little project. I'm showing you a little late in the game while I'm building this model. It's not about the build, but just a quick experimental demonstration um, of how a nice little old Paul K. Guillo's rubber powered balsa kit can be converted uh, with today's technology in the 21st century uh, most of the components the electronics come from flight tests We've got some really decent small small <clears throat> rotary servos um, the guts of all the things that make it RC come from a flight test adventure. I own two of them. I bought them on purpose just to crash them and gut them for their electronics and their linkage and their <coughs> control horns, landing gear. That's from the uh, adventure. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> As a rubber powered kit, it's very Spartan and minimum uh, intended uh, out of the box. With everything included, uh, you just need glue and make it a free flight, rubber powered. Uh, <clears throat> this one, however, uh, my left handed madness has brought me to not have an electric motor just in case this thing's too heavy. So I gotta build this thing as light as I can without compromising the structural integrity of the airframe and wings. So I did that. I, cut through the formers through the fuselage, uh, cut about half the distance of the thickness from the inside area to the outside faces and outside edges of each former to save some weight. I also, <clears throat> pardon, use as light as I could with materials here. I know some people do use solid balsa for their rear stabilizer and tail fin. Um, I opted not to do that. This, um, included tissue uh, doped up with fuel proof dope from uh, deluxe materials it's called Easy Dope. Now I'm working with it. I can get this stuff pretty straight on, um, but it is not very forgiving at handling the model sometimes. With my thumbs, it will press in while I'm working, but that's something I can work out with a heat gun and get it straightened out, tease it out. And it'll kind of it's a living organism skin more than monocoat or ultra coat. This is a new old stock Cox PW.020 model glow engine, single cylinder, and it's got. A nice twin port on it with fuel tank <clears throat> built in right in the back. It is a reed valve two stroke. You know, the run time's about five minutes. Um, I've broken it in really nice, starting with the 20% nitro uh, and then jumping up to 25 after it was broken in. And now, <clears throat> after about, it's got about seven fuel tanks run through it now. Um, and with fresh batteries on the glow igniter, on the glow plug tip, I could flick it over with the uh, finger and it will start every time the first time. It's so nice. If I got one of these things used, um, I might as well have been asking for trouble. I know about these little tiny guys. If the needle <coughs> valve gets gummed up or stuck, uh, there's problems. They're just crazy. But these things are so primitive and simple as a two stroke glow engine uh, that there are many possibilities. And the, the weight of it is uh, 26 grams or something, 26 and a half, something. I forgot the number. It was pretty light. Uh, without the fuel in it or the propeller or, mm. so anyways uh, moving to the wings uh, 
the plans called out for just building a solid wing into two, uh, two different pieces and then attach each wing to each left and right side. I said no. Um, it's really easy to <clears throat> mount the wings incorrectly and have them warped out. One will look like this, and the other one will look like that by mistake if I don't pay attention to how the adhesion goes and the alignment goes. And while it cures and rests over time, I don't want any creeping or creaking or warping as, it's, as the uh, glue sets in and dries. Um, so, built a platform perfectly flat, sanded at level, and join the two wings together. I cut out these sections for ailerons. I've got plastic hinges from Dubro added in. Two micro servos, I mean, two, pardon me, two of the flight test servos for those ailerons. Insert it later. Really nice um, tissue that this uh, Willow's kit comes with. I went and bought some other colored tissue, and it came out really, really nice. Okay, so let's start up this little guy here. I'm gonna plug in <clears throat> the receiver. I'm gonna start this guy up. I have the transmitter already on. Let me get out the ways here. I don't have a camera now. Bear with me. Okay. So, <clears throat> I have it bound on a Spectrum DX6i. It's about to retire it. Uh, the wheel button, uh, pressing the button is getting old on it. So I'm just retiring it to little experimental projects. I don't want to put this thing on a fancy NX6 I just bought. It's too complicated for something this simple. So, I replaced the brushless electric motor with this Nitro. And we're gonna bear with me. Let's see where it Fire this good, uh, guy up and bind him. And this is what I've got for electronics done so far. Um, we are bound. There's <coughs> built, there's an outboard speed control that is only being used to power this thing. It's all it's there for. It's a, otherwise. A useless, unwanted lead weight that I will try to get rid of. So the, they have a Hobby Zone Sport Cub S2. They're selling them pretty cheap for scratch and dent. And they have linear servos like on little chipboards. Anyways, I uh, got the <clears throat> rudder and elevator finally finished. It's really nice. A lot of help from Tim McKay, by the way. He's got some great info and a lot of helpful videos step by step for completion guides on a lot of uh, all these other Quillos kits. All right, so <clears throat> I try to use fine glass reinforced tape or um, the medical gauze tape that has the threads in them and the. Uh, Elevators, hinges, I have them glued in and the, <clears throat> the fibers were running parallel to the separation joint and after moving it up and down a bunch of times, say it broke off. So I just used some cute little packing tape just as a quick temporary fix until I figure out something else lightweight. Um, so it will work good. So anyways, <clears throat> motor, it's going to be on full throttle all the time. I really don't mind that. And here's action. I'm moving the very, very nice. It's got plenty of throw. I've got to trim down on my dual rates and exponential is, is actually <clears throat> small micro... Uh, you know, servo, so plenty of throw. 
up and down for the elevator. <clears throat> You'll see the uh, push rod bend a little bit. I want to go all the way down. It's not cool. I don't want that to happen. So I'll have to definitely trim that down with my dual rates and the rudder. It's really nice too. Very fast. Very quick and responsive. So, yeah, moving along with this quick experiment project. Um, I'll be doing other Gwillow's kits. It's the same scale, same size. It's the scales uh, series, you know, the civilian ones. There, I'll start with the 300 series for the Gwillow's kits. I'm pretty much interested in modifying. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, stay tuned for more. Peace.